sudden there was one tiny little perch. He decided he'd have one. And he went, like that. And that was almost like a dinner bell ringing. And every fish in sight all started feeding. And the whole picture, you couldn't then couldn't see anything because they stirred the bottom up so much. And it was that one fish deciding he'd have something and that, that triggered all the others you know and you thought how many times do I sit there and I think there's none out there you know, I'm not going to catch them Last Sunday I was fishing down here, me and my friend, and uh, we were, we'd been, oh, we'd gone from around about one o'clock until half past three and neither of us had had a bite. And I was thinking about packing up and I had a bite. Chucked out again, and the float went straight on. And, and suddenly, it was just crazy. And he was three or four pegs away, and he was exactly the same. They just decided something triggered them, and they were suddenly not only were they feeding, but they were fish plopping around on the up on the surface. And we hadn't seen a fish top all day long. So they'd obviously all been there all that time. But Here we are on the Wensum. It's probably my favourite river. It's the one I've known the longest. It's a bit low today, but we're catching dace, a few roach, small chub, perch, quite nice perch. I always think of the river as a chub river these days, but there's quite a lot of perch about sometimes, and there's lots of dace from time to time. And every now and again, there's a bit of a roach revival. So far it doesn't seem to have come too much, but who knows, one day we'll start getting a bigger roach again. For now we've just got to keep trotting away, picking off whatever comes along really. It's a bit of a war of attrition and we just keep picking off, picking off and with a bit of luck something good will come along. That's my way, so.